Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are on our rust bucket truck, our high boy, our Ranger, our 72 F250, four by four, rusty is all out. We are getting there, we're getting it rusted out. So we are starting on the body. Yes, finally the body work, everybody's saying. Let's get this done, Let's see what it looks like. So I'm gonna take you to bench here in a minute. Um, we are pretty much at ground zero on this. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do. I'm gonna start with the box. Cause that's the most creative spot to be and i'm i'm really baiting on color choice yet i've got a couple choice in mind i'd really like to two-tone it uh, just because that was the old school look these old ford pickups had it didn't matter if it was plain jane whatever they all seemed to be two-toned back that day um i'm just debating on the color i i kind of want to use lacquer because like i said I'm, I'm running short with this one on time uh i don't really have time for the enamel to cure out even if even if it's in the suzy bake oven it's still gonna take a couple days and uh, just don't have that luxury right now because why i procrastinate too much and this is what happens this is where we at and this is how things are so with that being said let's get onto the bench side and let's get going on this thing okay guys bench side so i want to save this but i don't i really don't want that on there because like i say it's kind of a rough truck but i want to put it back on after i cut the body up so how I'm going to do that, this is just, we're just trying this out. We'll see how it works. Okay, guys, so we're using some of our styrene strip. Uh, we're going to use some of our ever, evergreen products. And I got my piece cut out here. So this is the perfect width here. I mean, that's like right on the money. I wish I had a little bit, just a shade wider would have been good. So I got this cut that kind of matches the body right now. Matches the theme. So what we're going we're gonna to do is take some more foil, just some Reynolds wrap, nothing extravagant. I'm just going to get a piece off here because my knife is duller than dull. Rich, wow. Yes, it's time for a new blade. Yikes. Huh. Okay, anyways. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this on here. We're going to overlap it. I'm trying something new here, guys. This is... This is the first time for me trying this. Uh, I read it on a cereal box once. So we're going to give it a try, see what happens. And kind of go from there. So we want to burnish it down. Best we could. Best we can. Best of our abilities. Which tonight for some reason very good. Okay, we're going to leave it just like that. So we have our body line burnished down. So now we're going to take this guy. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna flip this over. We're gonna do it this way. I'm gonna put a little super glue in there just because it'll be easier to work with. Um, because I, I know it'll dry fast. I'm gonna stick this in here. This will be my new molding. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Let's see what I get for super glue here. I got some watery stuff like this stuff here. I think this will be the, I think this will be the choice. All right, so we're gonna try this, some of this Loctite super glue. This is the liquid. I don't really know how much liquid it is at this point. I just want it to cover good. So we'll go that route. And we're going to stick this guy in the center. Very careful, like. Something like that. We're going to let that cure for a minute. And then we're going to cut it out. So while that's curing, I'm going to swap my blades over and go from there. So that'll be my new molding for the side of the truck once that dries out. Okay guys, we sprayed a little bit of um, some Bob Smith Industries on there just to speed the process up. Got a new blade in here, so we're gonna cut this out and see how that works. Cut like butter, very nice. Something like that. Now we have a new piece of molding. Just fold that over a little bit. And voila. Fold that over a little bit. Covers the edges. And there we go. That will work perfect. Nice and flexible. So that's going to be my new molding for here. Alright. So we're going to... I'm not doing the other side. I'm just going to do this one side here. Um... So now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to grind that off with the DA. 
or with my Dremel. So let me go grab that quick. Okay, so we have our, I got one of these with a wand. Uh, Dremel's just down there, cords in the way. So I'm basically gonna do is just cut this down till that goes away and then we'll go from there. I may do is cut this one right off and act like maybe it doesn't even have one. Um, or I might leave it on. Maybe I'll just leave it on. I think I'll leave it on. We'll go from that. So other than that, then we're going to do the cab. We're going to do the same thing. I'm um, probably going to do one side on the cab, then go from there. So I'm going to get this one side cut down. I'm going to leave that side on, and we'll go from that part. We'll see what happens. So I'll get this cut down, I'll bring you back. All right, guys, so it took like seconds to grind that down. So that leaves that nice and clean. So now we can cut this out a little bit, and that will give us a new uh, spot for that um, new piece to ride on there. That should look pretty good. I might take that. See, I can't take it down too much further. As you can see, now we're at the, the mercy of the, the box side, pretty much. That's okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. So I'm not even going to bother anything else with that. We're just going to leave that. So at this point, um, I had some prototype pictures on how far I wanted to go with this. So I'm just going to basically just draw it out with a pencil or a pen or a Sharpie. We're going to go with a Sharpie, matter of fact, because that's what I got here. Um, I almost kind of wanted to put a metal piece on here and leave that hanging, but I'm just going to leave that just um, just in color because I'm not going to put the um, chrome up here either. If anything, I may do is chrome that. I'm not going to use the chrome cladding that come in the kit, but I may bare metal foil that along the top. Kind of go that route. So we need a few rust spots up here, um, per se, kind of some notchy stuff up here. And then I want to do pretty much up here. And then just work my way down. Kind of into the box back side here. So that's going to be gone. Up here is going to be gone. And then I'm going to do some right here. Just notch it and then bring it down into my molding. And that's where our molding is going to just hang over. So that's going to be a rust on the back here. Uh, and I may do is put a couple of dents up here. Maybe a dent here. And maybe a little dent here. And then another one here. Just something small. Not nothing too crazy. And I may dent it here. Just put like a, a dent in here. And that'll be it. I won't go too much with it. Just enough to say, hey... We're beat up a little bit. So the other side, like I said, we're going to leave this. So on this side, I'm going to just open this up a little bit up here. Kind of take a lot of the wheel well out. Then same as here, I'm just going to go up here and just kind of along this way here and leave that gone from that point. Uh, same here, we'll put a we'll put a dent up here. Um, another one here, and maybe a, a bigger dent like right here and we'll leave it at that we'll probably put one along the back here because this is usually where these get beat up right here in the back corners say so run into stuff bump into stuff all that kind of thing um and we'll leave it maybe we'll do a little spot here a little dent not sure we'll see how that goes that's all we're going to do for rust on this side i think that'd look pretty good we're going to eat that part of it out so I'm going to take this Dremel and I'm going to cut that out of there and then we'll chip it away from that point and then we'll get this um, we'll get it going from there so these spots here I'm going to use a heat gun kind of go that route uh, I'll do the heat gun for that but I'm going to use, like say Dremel will be for this stuff up here and we'll go from that point I'm um, just debating on the best way to cut that I do have a cutoff wheel that might work the best for this just go that route because I do have little like pins I could use um, but the problem is some of those pins is that they get galled up because these Mobius kits they are pretty thick so I might just take the cutoff wheel and just notch it out of there I think that'll look just as good okay guys so I'm just using this here it's working pretty good We'll let that plastic cool down for a minute, just like this side. 
We'll come back and hit it. Shave it down from the inside a little bit. Okay, looks pretty good for that side. And we'll egg this side out a little bit. Like that. We'll leave it at that part. I don't want to overdo it just because you can get carried away pretty easy all right next we're going to take our heat gun we'll get these dents in the top like i say you got to be real careful with this because you can really mess it up in a hurry so we're going to take something like this here this time Don't take long, put a little dent in it. Run down the side to start the side of the box, a little scratch. So this little dent here. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Like that. That looks really good. So, nothing too crazy. Looks pretty good there. I really like that crease inside there. It looks pretty good. Crease a little bit there. Looking nice, looking nice. Okay, we'll do some spots here. I got a little dimple there. I didn't get carried away with it. I'm just afraid of melting it too much, you know what I mean? Because it will melt fast on you. Because the problem is once it goes, it goes. It's not one of the like, well, you know, let's melt a little bit here. Like that, got that pushed in right there. Looks pretty good. So I'll put a little dent up here and I'll call this side good. I like those streaks on the side. I think those look pretty good. I think those look better than a dent. I'm gonna leave it at that. That side looks pretty cool. We'll give this side a couple little characteristic beatings and we'll call this good. Now we're going to do a little more finishing up here and then we'll get this. I might even paint this and do this all up and be done with it and then do the cab. I'm not sure yet. So we'll try this side here. Next day you got to be real careful because once it melts it's like, yep, melt, we're done. There's really no like time reason or it just starts to go. Yeah, that's good. We're going to leave it like that. I get nervous doing this plastic because it'll... You can see already, I see I, I bopped it there a little bit by holding on to it with the heat. I could feel it. So, like I say, you got to be real careful with it. You can screw it up pretty quick. So, it looks pretty good. We're going to leave it like that. I don't want to go too carried away with it. Just enough to, to damage it. That looks good. All right.
enough of the heat gun for today. Okay, then now we're gonna put some holes in the back and kind of call it good. I'd kind of like put a big hole here in the back corner because uh, that's kind of a common thing. So now with this piece here gone up front, now this molding is gonna sit like this on the side. Once it's all painted up, we're gonna put that back on and now it's gonna hang over like that. Ah, he says, and we have it bent out a little bit and just hanging out in the rust. I think that looks super cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do with that. So now we're gonna flake this out a little bit, chip it up, and then what I'm gonna do is take some more uh, aluminum foil and I'm gonna glue foil to the inside up here and let some of it wrinkle out and that'll be the edge of my sheet metal versus just the plastic. Okay guys, so now they're open, I got a piece of foil once again. I'm gonna take the foil and line this with basically from here to here. So we got our end piece here, we're about here. So we're gonna cut that to there. Like so, and then we're gonna take and glue this on the inside of that body work there. It's gonna go up in here. Then this wrinkled edge, I'm going to wrinkle this edge and this will be the edge of the sheet metal. Sounds good in theory anyways. So we're going to cut it about to our box side where the fender flare is. About here. And about here. And we only need a little piece to go up inside. Same with this. And then a little for the front box itself. Because you know the problem with this, the plastic on these models, it's so thick. You basically need something a little thinner to go against the metal, like where the metal would be. So I'm going to glue these pieces in here, and this will represent the edge of the frame. So I'm using some of my, just some of this guy here. A little bit on the inside. Like so. Okay, we're gonna let that dry real good. Kind of see where I'm going with that. Up a little bit down here. Then we're gonna obviously we're gonna cut all this in a little bit once that cures out, once that dries. Up this way. I'm leave it set like so. Lag of that. And I'll put a little piece up in here. Mm, that'll work, I guess. Kind of need it to where my cut is. Yeah, we're setting up already. That's all right. That'll work. That'll work. All right, so we're gonna let that set for a minute. We're gonna do the other side. Same thing, put a little bit on the edge here. Something like that. Okay, we're gonna let that set up and we'll come back to that. Okay guys, now this is cured up a little bit. So we're gonna carefully take and cut this along the edge. because obviously we don't need all that. Just want to keep the edge of it, that's it. This part here we can roll away. Yeah, I know it seems wasteful, but I didn't need that much to start with. So we're going to take and just basically just roll that up and just leave that like that. Same as this here. Mm 
notch a little bit. Something like that. Just subtle. But you know what? It's a sharp edge. It's flaring out because that's how a lot of rust is. And it's jagged. So that way there it's got that little bit of rust of pe uh, peel to it. Like so, same thing. Kind of a little edging. You don't want a lot of hanging down because you don't want to accidentally bump it sometime in the future and you know, because you will end up obviously ruining it. Make sure that's tucked in up top, like so. So long as we paint that, then I'll just seal the deal. Kind of like that, we'll leave it out a little bit. We'll flare out. Cool. Something like that. Now to secure this, I can put some super glue on the back of this, and that'll harden that right up. Um, so I may do that. I'll just pull a bit of liquid on the back and along the sides here. That way, in case it gets bumped, we don't have to worry about it. Make sure it's all sealed in good. Like so. And we'll hit it with some of our Bob Smith. And voila. Hard rust. Alright guys, so it's going to wrap up video number 6. I appreciate you guys watching and checking out the channel. And we will get on video number 7 and get the cab painted and finished up. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.